the research I do is in heliophysics. And heliophysics is largely the study of the sun and how the sun works. But beyond that, it's not just about how the sun works, it's how the sun affects us. Most of the data that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis are images. There's a satellite in orbit called the Solar Dynamics Observatory, and it takes an image of the sun about once every 1.3 seconds. So we have over 150 million images taken of the sun since 2010. Those images need to be processed. They need to be identified features. They need to be tracked, how they move. Being able to go through all of those images in a conventional computing platform with a CPU, for example, it would just take ages and ages, years uh, even, to ask one question. We have thousands of questions we want to ask. That's where the Data Science Workstation provides a platform that we can start to be able to use some of these modern methods, artificial intelligence, machine learning, to really begin to pull apart the data that we've already taken. The holy grail right now of a lot of solar physics work is to be able to make predictions. Predictions of when a solar flare will erupt, when the solar activity will be high and how high. If we can make those predictions, anybody that has a satellite in orbit, any company that has a satellite in orbit, they can take precautions to protect their satellites from incoming space weather. If we want to send astronauts to Mars, we need to understand the environment that they'll be living in for months to get there and back again. And that environment is all dictated by what the sun is producing. The sun, even though it seems just like a weather phenomenon, it rises in the day, sets at night, it really actually has impacts on our daily life. And heliophysics is right at the heart of that, and understanding how it works.